It's time now for the Mule Train News Program on this Friday, April the 23rd, 2021, brought to you today by Leal's Mexican Restaurant. Memorial service for Joe Champollion, 70 of Mule Shoe, is set for 2 o'clock Saturday afternoon, April the 24th, at the First Baptist Church here in Mule Shoe with Dr. Stacey Connor officiating along with Alan McAllister of Abilene a Private Family Burial will be in the Melrose Cemetery uh, in New Mexico. We will be live streaming that memorial service on the front page of our website, muleshoetv.com, along with uh, both of our Facebook pages, Gil Lamb and Channel 6 Muleshoe, and our YouTube channel, Gil Lamb Advertising. Joe died on Saturday, April the 17th here in Muleshoe. He was born January the 30th, 1951, in Fort Bragg, North Carolina, to Joseph Charles and Margaret Juanita Keene Champollion. He married Rhonda Jones and Clovis on August the 15th, 1992. Joe served in the U.S. Marine Corps during the Vietnam War. He was a licensed funeral director and an embalmer in Oklahoma, New Mexico, and Texas for 39 years. Joe served many families in eastern New Mexico and Texas, finishing his career here in Muleshoe with Ellis Funeral Home. He enjoyed singing in the choir at First Baptist Church, where he was also a member. Joe is preceded in death by his parents. He is survived by his wife, Rhonda, his son, Philip Champollion of Winnemucca, Nevada, his daughter, Sarah of Clovis, his brother, Mike Champollion of Albuquerque. Online condolences can be made at ellisfuneralhomes.com. And repeating memorial service for Joe Champollion, 70 of Mule. She was set for 2 o'clock Saturday afternoon. April the 24th at the First Baptist Church here in Muleshoe with Dr. Stacey Connor, along with Alan McAllister of Abilene officiating. We will be live streaming that funeral services on the front page of our website, muleshoetv.com at 2 on Saturday. You can also find a link to it on the First Baptist Church's website, fbcmuleshoe.org. Please keep the Champollion family on your prayer list today. Joe will be missed. Funeral service for Loretta Bills, 83 of Earth, is set for 11 o'clock Saturday morning, April 24th at the First Baptist Church in Earth with Mike Bryant and Ricky Galvin officiating. Burial will be in the Earth Memorial Cemetery. Loretta passed away on Monday, April the 12th in Earth. She was born November the 8th, 1937 in Olton to Raymond S. and Kathleen Martin Cole. She married Clifford Bills in Earth on January the 14th, 1955. Loretta was a master florist for over 50 years and a co-owner of the Garden Gate in Earth for many years as well. She was one of the best when making funeral arrangements, anniversary flowers, birthday bouquets, or just because flowers. Her thoughtfulness was evident in everything she did. Loretta was a member of the First Baptist Church in Earth where she was active with many committees, a charter member of the We the Women, Group. She is preceded in death by her parents and one brother, Wayne Cole. Loretta is survived by her husband, Clifford, her three daughters, Jen Daniel, and her husband, David of Vancouver, Washington, Lisa Wisenhunt, and her husband, Ronnie of Denver City, Denise Clifton, and her husband, Randy of Gatesville, two sisters, Frances Watkins of Salado, Texas, Regina Meeks of Pittsburgh, and two brothers, Carol Cole of Salado and Jesse Cole of Weatherford. 12 grandchildren survivor and 13 great grandchildren. The family suggests memorials be sent to the First Baptist Church of Earth, P.O. Box 690, Earth, Texas 79031. Online condolences can be made at ellisfuneralhomes.com. And repeating church service for Loretta Bills, 83 of Earth, is set for 11 o'clock Saturday morning, April the 24th, at the First Baptist Church in Earth with Mike Bryant of earth and ricky galvan of andrews officiating please keep the bills family on your prayer list today gloria gay elliott 57 of oklahoma lane died on monday april the 19th in oklahoma lane she was born january the 12th 1964 in clovis new mexico to leonard and gloria scott elliott services are pending at this time gay was an avid animal lover especially her horses she was very artistic and enjoyed painting and gardening. Gay adored her nieces and nephews. She is preceded in death by her parents and one brother, Gary Elliott. Gay is survived 
by her two sisters, Letha Hajik uh, and her husband Greg of Fort Worth, and Gina McLean and her husband Paul of Kennedale, her sister-in-law Kay Elliott of Needmore, and numerous nieces and nephews. Please keep the family of Gay Elliott on your prayer list. Today's services are pending at this time. Also remember, please, the family of Rhonda Kirkland, 62 of Farwell. She died last week on Friday, April the 16th in Lubbock. And her funeral services were held on Monday at the First Baptist Church of Farwell. Please keep her husband, Duke, and her children, Brandon and Andy, and all of their family on your prayer list uh, today, the family of Rhonda Kirkland. Well, Saturday, May 1st, Election Day is quickly approaching us. Be the weekend after next, but early voting is underway now, and those races that are being contested here for the city of Muleshoe, Muleshoe ISD. Uh, both are for Muleshoe Mayor Colt Ellis and Aaron Gonzalez running for that seat. District 1 for the city of Muleshoe, City Council, Crystal Alicon, Scott Miller, and Corey Contreras. And then the MISD District 1 seat, Steve Clifton versus Augustine Martinez, Jr., and for the MISD Board of Trustees District 4 seat was Sergio Leal, the incumbent, versus Leela Hancock-Jones. And as I mentioned, you can vote early now at City Hall. It's going on today on Friday, April the 23rd. The next week on Monday and Tuesday, there will be extended hours next week on Tuesday, 7 a.m., until 7 p.m. all at City Hall. And then uh, Election Day will be Saturday, May the 1st, 7 a.m. till 7 p.m. at Muleshoe City Hall for all of those places, uh, all of those seats, the mayor's seat, District 1 for the City of Muleshoe, and District 1 and District 4 for the MISD Board of Trustees. City Hall, uh, the address is 215 South 1st Street. It's time now for the weather forecast brought to you today by K&K Pharmacy. Don't forget that Mother's Day is around the corner on Sunday, May the 9th. And K&K Pharmacy right here in Muleshoe has you covered with great corksicle uh, products available. Perfect to make your mother feel special for Mother's Day. It has a proprietary triple insulation. They have tumblers. Wine chillers, drinkware, and canteens in the Corksicle line. Uh, also, a lot of handbags and much, much more at K and K Pharmacy. Mother's Day gifts are stocked full of them at fourteen eleven West American Boulevard, right here in Muleshoe, where they have Mother's Day gifts galore at K and K Pharmacy. Don't forget, they also have COVID nineteen vaccines available. Call to schedule your appointment at eight zero six two seven two seven five one one. K and K Pharmacy, Crystal Alicon, or Christine Isaacson, or any of their employees at K and K Pharmacy can assist you. They're open Monday through Fridays, 9 a.m. till 6 p.m., 1411 West American Boulevard. You're welcome to come in. They'll deliver to your home, or you can use their convenient drive through window on the west side of the building. Call 806 272 7511 K and K Pharmacy. Well, I hate talking about this, but you can't ignore it because it's very scary. We are dry here in the Muleshoe area and all across the South Plains and Panhandle regions. But here in Muleshoe at the Mesonet Station, two miles south of town, for the month of April so far through the 23rd, we only have six one-hundredths of an inch of rain during this month of April. In the whole year of 2021, we're at eight-tenths of an inch of rain, and that adds up to a lot of trouble, especially for our ag economy and our farmers and dairymen here and ranchers in the Muleshoe area. Extremely dry here going on the second year in a row in 2021, as, of course, 2020 was an extraordinary, extraordinarily dry year as well. So headed into the second spring of extremely dry conditions, Eight tenths of an inch of rain only through nearly the end of April in 2021. Only six one hundredths of an inch of rain during this month. At the Earth Mesonet Station, which is right next to Tolk Plant, they have a little bit better number for April. 
12 one hundredths of an inch of rain, but they're much worse on the year at only 56 one hundredths of an inch of rain for 2021. So keep your fingers crossed and keep rain at the top of your prayer list because we desperately need it here in the Mule Shoe area. Looking at our weather forecast, partly sunny today on Friday, then gradually becoming sunny this afternoon. High near 75, so we're going to warm up breezy conditions with a west-southwest wind, 15 to 25 miles per hour. Mostly clear tonight, low around 37. Breezy conditions with a west wind, 20 to 25 miles per hour, becoming northwest, 10 to 15 miles per hour. After midnight, winds and gusts as high as 35 miles per hour overnight. Sunny on Saturday, high near 79, so even warmer. Northwest winds, 5 to 10 miles per hour, becoming south-southwest. Saturday afternoon, Saturday night, clear, low around 46. South winds, 10 to 15 miles per hour. Sunny on Sunday, high near 89 degrees. Southwest winds, 10 to 15 miles per hour, increasing to 15 to 20 miles per hour. Sunday afternoon, winds could gust as high as 30 miles per hour. Sunday night, mostly clear, low around 50. One a gusty evening and overnight Sunday as well. Then Monday, mostly sunny, high near 87 degrees. So really uh, hot temperatures uh, for Monday next week. Southwest winds 10 to 15 miles per hour, increasing to 15 to 20 miles per hour. Monday afternoon, winds and gusts as high as 30 miles per hour. Monday night, partly cloudy, low around 53. Breezy conditions with a southwest wind. 20 to 25 miles per hour, decreasing to 15 to 20 miles per hour after midnight. Winds could gust as high as 35 miles per hour Monday night. Tuesday, mostly sunny, high near 77. Southwest winds 15 to 20 miles per hour with gusts as high as 30 miles per hour. So it's going to be really windy over the next four or five days. Tuesday, Tuesday night, partly cloudy, low around 42 Wednesday, a chance of showers and thunderstorms. That's what we've been looking for. and It doesn't appear in our forecast until Wednesday. We've got a lot of wind between here and there, and, and it's going to get high up into the upper 80s as well and windy. But Wednesday, a, slot, a chance of showers and thunderstorms, mostly sunny, high only around 69, breezy conditions during the day on Wednesday. Then Wednesday night next week, a chance of showers and thunderstorms again, partly cloudy, low around 38 Sunny on Thursday, high near 72. So let's see if maybe we can get somewhere into next week and get some rain here in the Mule Shoe area. Repeating our forecast for today on Friday, partly sunny, gradually becoming sunny this afternoon, high near 75. Breezy conditions with a southwest wind, 15 to 25 miles per hour. Then tonight, mostly clear, mostly clear low around 37. Breezy conditions again overnight. Winds can gust as high as 35 miles per hour. Sunny on Saturday, high near 79. Northwest wind 5 to 10 miles per mile per hour, becoming south southwest in the afternoon. And Saturday night clear, low around 46. South winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. K and K Pharmacy has presented to you this edition of the weather forecast. And of course, earlier in this week, we might want to tell you. Uh, along with our weather forecast, that the winter wasn't quite finished with us. As on Thursday, yesterday, the high was 69 and the low was 28, so we got below freezing that day. And Wednesday, the high was only 58 and the low was 19, so a serious deep freeze on Wednesday morning earlier, uh, early during that morning, those morning hours as we got down to 19 degrees on Wednesday. We'll be back with more Mule Train news in just a few moments, so please stay tuned. I am Isla Reynolds, and I know enough about quality, authentic Mexican food to know it gets no better than Leal's Mexican Restaurant at 1010 West American Boulevard in Milshi, Texas. The yummy chips and salsa enchiladas made with love and finest of ingredients. Dine in now or carry out by calling 806-272-3294. The original in business since 1957, Leal's Mexican Restaurant in Mule Shoe, Texas. Vote Colt Ellis for mayor of Mule Shoe. Colt is a lifetime resident of Mule Shoe. He graduated from Mule Shoe High School 
In 2008 and 2011, he received his license to become a funeral director and embalmer from the Dallas Institute of Funeral Service. He returned home to work with his family and the family business at Ellis Funeral Home. In 2018, Colt purchased interest in his family's funeral home. Colt was elected at age 22 to the city council here in Muleshoe. As a District 1 representative, he serves on the board of the Mule Days and Kick and Nights Committee through the Muleshoe Country Club to help fund our local Meals on Wheels program as well. He serves on the board at the Bailey County Appraisal District, the Economic Development Corporation Board, and the Texas Funeral Directors Association Board. In his free time, he loves spending time with his wife, Leslie, and his stepdaughter, Bentley. He truly loves Muleshoe and wants to see it continuously grow and succeed. Vote Colt Ellis for mayor of Muleshoe. Early voting going on now, today on Friday and Monday and Tuesday through Tuesday, April the 27th at City Hall here in Muleshoe. Election Day is Saturday, May 1st, also at Muleshoe City Hall. Political ad paid for by Colt Ellis. Spring is here and hopefully the rains are on the way in Frying Cox, 401 South 1st Street in Muleshoe has their first shipment of plants available now. Lots to get your vegetable garden up and running like watermelon plants, cucumbers, green beans, strawberries, zucchini, pumpkin, lots of varieties of tomatoes and peppers, including the hot ones like jalapeno, scorpion peppers, and habaneros, bell peppers, and many more. Lots of flowers like geraniums, lobelia, begonias, lantana, potato vine, celosia, coleus, and hanging baskets and succulent pots available now as well. Wedding shower selections available at Frying Cox for Brianna Wallace and Luke Spears for May 8th and Cheyenne Carpenter and Court Crawford for May 15th. Great deals going on now at Frying Cox like the Manager Special, a hose mobile, hose reel, now only $24.97, and the Black Flag Ann and Roach Killer marked down to $2.97, and Suet Treats still good to attract a variety of birds to your backyard marked down to 67 cents each. Do it best quality paints, best look series, including all interior and exterior best look paints, will be buy one, get one free, April 21st through the 24th at Frying Cox, 401 South 1st Street in Muleshoe, Texas, 806-272-4511. They're open Monday through Saturdays, 8 a.m. until 6 p.m. Well, our COVID-19 case numbers continue to stay low, which we're extremely thankful for. As the last update we had from the Muleshoe Bailey County Emergency Management Group was on Tuesday afternoon. We only had one active case here in Bailey County. So we are extremely thankful for that one active case earlier in the week uh, as of Tuesday of COVID-19 here in Bailey County. We did do our live stream last night from the Fine Arts Night to Shine at the MHS Commons area. A little bit of a new situation for us. If we look back a year ago, that was the very first thing on the Channel 6 calendar that got canceled was the Fine Arts Night to Shine, but we did our live stream successfully last night. We learned from it, and we hope that you enjoyed it. And you can go back and watch it right now on the front page of our website, MuleshoeTV.com. All of the uh, fine arts festivities that happened last night at the MHS Commons area. We were sad, though, that we did not uh, do the MHS One Act play as their their director, Christian Mora, called us the day uh, before and said they had so many of their cast members that would be out for regional golf and regional track uh they are underway today, but they had to be gone uh, traveling to those locations on Thursday evening that they were going to only show a prior uh, performance in on a video there at the Kerry Moore Auditorium. So, so, of course, we didn't film that, but Christian promised me that they will put together an event where they will perform the one-act play, The Count of Monte Cristo, just for our live stream sometime here in the next couple of weeks. So look for that coming up at MuleshoeTV.com. They also introduced the brand-new uh, band director that's been hired for next year, and she is Miranda De Bruin, who graduated alongside Christian Mora in the MHS class of 2015. 
The uh, band uh, solo and ensemble performances were under the direction of John Gibson and Jessica Mainrich. And uh, all state choir finalists also performed. It was very good. Braden Shipman on the night. We showed all of the artwork from MHS art teacher uh, Alyssa Lopez's students. And we also uh, featured the graphic design and photography work taught by Candace Moore under her students. And uh, you can see that all in an hour and a half performance from MHS Fine Arts Night to Shine on the front page of our website, MuleshoeTV.com. Thanks to the uh, Fine Arts Booster Club for putting on that successful event last night at the MHS Commons area. Well, the weekend before, week before last, I was the program at the Muleshoe Rotary Club. They meet every Tuesday at noon at the meeting room at the Bailey County Coliseum. And it was good to see the Rotarians still active and a part of our community. And uh, I talked to them about Channel 6, our history, and what we were doing now here at Gillam Advertising Channel 6. Dennis Fleenor is the president of the Muleshoe Rotary Club. The secretary treasurer is, treasurer is Mark Morden. Thurman Myers is a sergeant at arms. Members are Brett Bammer, J.D. Cage, Buck Campbell, who's recently moved from Muleshoe, Todd Ellis, Dennis Fleener, Gary Hooten, Mike Jones, Phil Kent, Tim McCormick, Eric McElroy, Gary McCone, Scott Miller, Mark Morton, Thurman Myers, Jackson Myers, George Neiman, Carol Precure, R.L. Richards, Ramon Sanchez, Curtis Shelburne, Eric Steinfath, and Chase Timms are all members of the Rotary Club here in Muleshoe. We always look forward to the operation in as much that the First Baptist Church does every year, and they're scheduled to do their Saturday, May the 1st, beginning at 8 a.m. until noon. This is always such a great program that the First Baptist Church, as they get out and work in the community, they have several cruises here, including a carpentry crew. They will do flower planting at the nursing home. Uh, Mills on Wheels team, they will have a yard work crew, window cleaning crew that will focus on the Harmon Elliott Senior Citizens Complex, a kitchen team, a chainsaw crew, and a card making crew all this year as part of their operation in as much as such a wonderful program done every spring by the First Baptist Church. The National Day of Prayer Luncheon will be Thursday, May the 6th next week, or the week after next from 12 noon until 1 p.m. at the Bailey County Coliseum. Donations will benefit the Bailey County Food Bank. The meal provided will be catered by Craig Black. And that's a National Day of Prayer Luncheon. It will be Thursday, May the 6th, noon until 1 at the Bailey County Coliseum. Everyone is welcome to come. Well, congratulations to Lady Mules as all seven seniors on the Lady Mules basketball team this year were named on the TABC Academic All-State Team, and that is awesome. They are Jordan Zapata, Grace Leal, Anai Barrera, Daniela Moran, Karina Sines, Christina Arzola, and Caitlin Kelly. So congratulations to all seven of these seniors as they were all named to the TABC Academic All-State Honor Team. Also, congratulations goes out to the Mighty and Band as they earned a one in UIL concert and sight reading both, and that was awesome. So congratulations to the MHS Mighty and Band under the direction of, of John Gibson and Mrs. Mainrick. And you can see a lot of the band performances. It's solo and ensemble teams, but many of them performed uh, last night at the Fine Arts Night to Shine. So make sure to check that out on the front page of our website, MuleshoeTV.com. Next week on Monday, April the 26th at 6 p.m. at the MHS Commons area, the MHS Athletic Banquet will be held. We'll be back with more Mule Train news in just a few moments, so please stay tuned. Vote Erin Gonzalez for Mule Shoe Mayor. She's caring for the future of our community. Early voting is going on now through next Tuesday, April the 27th, 8 a.m. till 5 p.m. with extended early voting hours on Tuesday, April the 27th, 7 a.m. until 7 p.m. 
All early voting is at Muleshoe City Hall, 215 South 1st Street. Of course, Election Day is Saturday, May the 1st at City Hall, 7 a.m. till 7 p.m., 215 South 1st Street. Vote Aaron Gonzalez, caring for the future of our community for Muleshoe Mayor. Political ad paid for by Aaron Gonzalez for Mayor. I was born in a town 30 miles from here and we moved to Muleshoe uh, when I was in the second grade. Graduated from Muleshoe High School and went off to college to Texas Tech. After that I went to medical school in University of Texas, Galveston, UTMB. I got interested in medicine probably when I was in high school. Uh, I was always involved with science and biology and especially chemistry. And when I went to college, I got a degree in chemistry. And then I had a friend of the family that encouraged me to go into pre-med and then to, into medical school. And so that's what I ended up doing. And then when I finished residency, I returned to my hometown. I've been taking care of some of these people for 30, 40 years and followed them from when they were young and adults and active and now they're needing care in the nursing home or at home and home health is involved. So all of those things are a part of the, the practice. But we see, still see the kids with their ear infections and their sore throats and, and worried mamas. I started requiring all my patients to come in once a year and get a physical examination that included laboratory. They come in and they, we talk, we go over their laboratory we schedule them for things they probably wouldn't do if they didn't come in. We get colonoscopies and we get coronary CT calcium scores to make sure they don't have heart diseases. And they feel good about that. And uh, they get their exam. And you can't imagine how many things you can find by just doing a good history and physical exam and some general laboratory. You find things every day. And sometimes they're really unusual things and sometimes they save lives. So that's what keeps me motivated. Family medicine, it's my passion. Well, we are really getting into the spring swing of things as the end of the school year activities are beginning to come fast and furious. As we mentioned earlier, the uh, athletic banquet is next Monday. April the 22nd, or excuse me, April the 26th at 6 p.m. Then they'll have a senior spotlight on May the 2nd. We will cover many of these things, not all of them, but many of them. May the 8th will be MHS Prom. May the 10th, uh, the MHS Honor Society induction ceremonies. May the 13th, MHS Awards a Ceremony. And then May the 15th is Muleshoe High School 2021 graduation ceremonies, which will be at Benny Douglas Stadium again. And uh, that all is coming up here in the next several weeks. Well, the Lady Mules Tuesday night uh, beat Denver City 12-2. to They've clinched a playoff spot as they're 4-5 and five in our District 3-3A. Uh, for softball, and they have clinched a playoff spot at fourth place, and it uh, they have one more game before the end of the se of the regular season at 12 noon. The softball will match up at Littlefield, uh, JV and varsity, and also baseball will be in action at the same time at noon this coming Saturday, April the 24th, at little field so good luck to the baseball and softball teams but again the lady mules have clinched a playoff spot it looks to me by looking at the matchups that they'll probably play in the by district round which will be sometime uh, next week uh, they will match up with presidio who's the first place in their district um, so good luck to the lady mules uh, both tomorrow on Saturday versus Littlefield and heading into the playoffs. The Mules baseball is out of the playoffs. They're 0-6 on the district season. They will have one more game after Saturday versus at Littlefield, and they will take on La Mesa on May the 1st. Well, we've been so blessed here in Muleshoe and, of course, the First Baptist Church to have Stacy Connor here in Muleshoe as our pastor 
at First Baptist for 30 years now. And they celebrated a lot of the staff and some of his friends at the church offices earlier in the week. 30 years of Stacy Connor right here in Muleshoe at the First Baptist Church. And it's just been uh, a, an honor of a lifetime to be able to bring you here on Gilliam Advertising Channel 6, uh, the First Baptist Church services, along with Stacy's amazing messages every Sunday. Of course, we're doing them live stream now, and you can join us this coming Sunday at 11 a.m. for the First Baptist Church and their uh, service. And Stacy's message will be skin in the game from John 10, 11 through 18. But we've been blessed here in Muleshoe to have Stacy and Debbie Connor with us for 30 years now here in Muleshoe. Of course, lots of things were planned earlier on, and lots of those things have been derailed due to pandemic and other issues. Of course, the 100th anniversary of First Baptist Church was obviously put on ice as that happened in the fall uh, of of 2020 uh, in the height of the pandemic so we'll see as we get things opening back up lots of these things will maybe take place a little bit late but congratulations to Stacy and Debbie Connor as they've been here uh, at First Baptist Church for 30 years now seems like time just flies well on our bargain basement today we have for sale a wolf hybrid puppy it's in sudan also they have for sale a 98 pontiac grand prix it's in good condition for three thousand dollars and a 2008 malibu for sale for 3500 call the reverend prentice in sudan 227-2214 and that's again for sale a wolf hybrid puppy and a 98 Pontiac Grand Prix and a 2008 Malibu call 227-2214. Make sure to go to the front page of our website, muleshoetv.com, as we'll have several things for you to watch coming live stream in the near future. But our Fine Arts Night to Shine broadcast, it's available now from Thursday evening. Is brought to you by Barrett Potato Farms, Burton Service Center, Dell Oil Company, Farmers Insurance, Julie De Bruin, Leal's Tortilla Factory, Muleshoe Animal Clinic and Vet Supply, Muleshoe Independent School District, Randall Field CPA, Five Area Telephone, West Plains Telecommunications, Shipman's Body Shop and Autoplex, Irrigation Pumps and Power, Precure Electric, Mohawk Auto Parts, Muleshoe Housing Authority, Lance Insurance, McDonald's Restaurant, and Bailey County Electric. And of course, all those sponsors will bring you the one act play broadcast that we will do a live stream of in the next couple of weeks. Also make sure to watch our severe weather awareness video that we did with our Muleshoe Bailey County emergency management director and Muleshoe police chief, uh, Gary McComb. That's our meet your neighbor program available on our front page. Now sponsored by United supermarkets. Of course, as we get into the spring, we always have some severe weather here in the Muleshoe area. I think I would take a little bit of severe weather if we could get some rain along with it for Muleshoe. Also, we'll have the live stream available tomorrow uh, for 2 p.m. for the Joe Champollion uh, funeral services. And, of course, the live stream sat, uh, Sunday morning at 11 a.m. from the First Baptist Church. We'll have delayed services from First United Methodist Church and uh, Angela Carter, her message, and also by Brother Jeff Kaufman at Calvary Baptist Church, that coming up every Sunday. But all that available free of charge, on demand on our website, MuleshoeTV.com. On your prayer list today, remember Betty Ruth Wood, also Lewis Wayne and Wanda Schaefer, Buck and Lynn Campbell as they've moved from Muleshoe to Raider Ranch in Lubbock, Melbourne Tom Bratcher, J.W. Harrington, Kearney Scoggin. Remember uh, Dr. Bruce Purdy on your prayer list today. Jeremy Combs, Mary Nell Bleeker, Margaret Berman, Maureen Hooten, Sally Ellis in our Parkview Nursing Care Center, Joe Jinks, Pat Nichols, Betty Noble, Maureen Hooten, Margaret Berman. Remember Deborah St. Clair and Jimmy K. Moore, Deborah Walls needs to be on your prayer list today. Michael Angeli, Debbie Connor needs to be on your prayer list today. Remember, please, the family of Monty Phipps, 
Betty Ott's son. He died recently in Waco. Please keep the family of Joe Champollion on your prayer list today, the family of Loretta Bills, the family of Gay Elliott. Remember, please, on your prayer list today, the family of Rhonda Kirkland, Lee Meeson, the family of Robert Toscano Sr., and the family of Keith Kindle and Joey Kindle on your prayer list, please. Well, it's just about time for us to go on this edition of the Mule Train News, brought to you today by Leal's Mexican Restaurant. You can hear our latest Mule Train News program, along with all our archive ones, free of charge, on demand on our website, muleshoetv.com. Click on the Mule Train News link at the top center of the page. I'm Tumble Witch Smith. We'll hear from the resourceful Alan Morris in a moment on The Sound of Texas. The Sound of Texas is brought to you here on MuleshoeTV.com by Bailey County Electric Cooperative Association with offices in Muleshoe at 610 East American Boulevard as well as in Morton at 1744 State Highway 114. They're celebrating rural electrification right here in the Muleshoe area through Bailey County Electric since 1939. They're owned by the members that they serve. Call 806-272-4504. Check them out online at BCEC. COOP.com, the board of directors, the members, the employees, the manager, CEO, David Markle, all hope you enjoy this Sound of Texas with Tumbleweed Smith. Everything is figure outable. You just have to say, okay, there's a solution here. I have to find it. When Fiesta Texas opened in San Antonio in 1992, Alan Morris was hired as project manager. In charge of special effects for the movies and television shows that we shot there, special effects for the theme park itself, fireworks shows, any special project that came along. Find out why the train is squeaking and solve the problem. I got a different problem every day. Once, he had to find some photos of Byron Nelson. I had no idea who Byron Nelson was. Byron Nelson and Bob Hope were going to be in the park doing something that was golf-related. But we were going to put, in laser light, a caricature of Bob Hope and Byron Nelson in the sky. So I got put in charge. And this was pre-internet. You didn't have access to just Googling some images. I've been told, we need pictures of Byron Nelson. This was like 9 o'clock in the morning. I thought, okay, so tell me who's Byron Nelson. They said, well, he's a golfer. So I called the local golf shop and said... Does Byron Nelson have any golf clubs that he represents, you know, whatever? They said, yes. I contacted the company that sold the golf clubs, and I said, I'm needing images of Byron Nelson. They weren't too helpful with that. But I said, okay, well, can you put me in contact with his wife? And they said, we can't give you her number, but we can give her your number. I said, okay. So a few minutes later, she called me, and I told her what we were doing, and she was well aware that he was going to be in San Antonio doing something with Bob Hope. And she said, I have the perfect pictures for you, but I would like the caricatures when you're finished with them. You know, when you get them made, I can send you the photos, but then they get turned in, and then an artist does some things with them. So I said, okay. She said, they'll be, I'll overnight them to you. You'll have them 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. Perfect. You know, I go about the, you're working on the next project, and the boss walks by, and he goes, well, what are you doing? And I said, I'm working on this project. He goes, no, you, you, we need pictures of Byron. You know, we, we need pictures of Byron Nelson, and you should be out, like, looking in magazines and stuff. And I said, no, his wife is sending. <laughs> so I had solved the problem in, in less than an hour by contacting his wife and telling her what she was doing, what we were doing. And the pictures came in, and the characters got made, and I was able to present to her the original artwork. Alan Morris now teaches in Big Spring. I'm Tumbleweed Smith with the sound of Texas.